Hi guys! Okay, today I'm going to be talking to you guys about these L'Oreal Infallible um, eyeshadows, which I accidentally, I accidentally ran into these. I heard Jen, um, she's from, from head to toe, uh, talking about these and saying like they weren't it out yet, like they were in Bed Bath & Beyond, and like I really wanted them after I saw that video, and I accidentally ran, in, ran into them. They have them at Target now, I guess. And I just grabbed the two that I like the best. I grabbed Amber Rush. I don't know if you guys can see that. And this is what the color looks like. And bronzing taupe or bronzed taupe. This is. <coughs> and the thing that surprised me the most about these is the texture. The texture is like unbelievable. It's so like silky soft it's ridiculous and this is what it looks like it's like so soft and silky and it's like a cream I guess but it feels like it feels like a powder I don't even know like it just blends out so easily and it has so much shimmer and pigmentation it's ridiculous um this is what how you when you open it it has just like this little um, cover and then you just pull it out and that's what the product looks like and this is the wooded amber brush and here's a swatch of that one and that's just like one swatch of amber brush and I'm just gonna the one thing about this is um if you don't really like that much like kind of silver shimmery eyeshadows I probably wouldn't recommend this unless you're using it as a base because these are very like reflective as you guys can see they're super reflective, which I actually personally like on this color. I was a little disappointed with the other one because I really liked like the actual color in the pan, what it looks like. And I understood why they called it bronzed taupe after I actually tried it out. This is what it looks like in there. It's like a bronzy color. This is what it looks like on your eyes. It's complete like shimmer reflective satin taupe pretty much it looks like that without light and that's what it looks like with it tons and like, tons of reflective like shimmer I don't even know it's not really shimmer I'm not sh it's like a satiny finish I probably should have put it next to each other <laughs> um, but yeah this is bronze taupe and this is amber rush I really love amber rush um, I kind of was expecting the bronzy color on bronze taupe, so I'm not crazy about it. I'm not really a taupey person, per se, and I already have kind of like a, <coughs> a bronze, I already have a taupe base cream shadow, so I feel like it was a, just a little disappointing for me, but the, I'm still keeping it. This eyeshadow is amazing. I love it. And, I mean, I'll just have twice as much taupe, I suppose. And it's really, oh my gosh, look at the pigmentation on those. I have no primer. This was one swatch of bronze taupe. And the Amber Rush, since it is kind of like more closer to my skin color, I did kind of need a couple swipes of it. So, but you guys can see how pigmented that is. And I'm just going to like compare them to my other cream shadows. Um, it is definitely the thinnest cream shadow I have. It says it's supposed to last 24 hours without creasing. It's long wearing, basically. What did it say? It says it's waterproof, crease resistant, smudge resistant, and it has 24 hour wear. Well, I've been wearing On it. On this side pretty much all day. I just did this eye in the tutorial that you're going to see next. And I just, I'd applied it this morning and I just took it off and then did the tutorial for it on this eye but this one I've been wearing it all day and it's held up pretty well like I don't see any creasing or anything like that so I'm gonna assume that it has um it does last that long but like I noticed when you do like kinda smudge it out all the shimmer goes away like the bronze is not even reflective at all so I don't believe that it's really smudge proof. I guess it kind of like stains your skin, but like all the shimmer kind of dies out. So I don't believe that it is smudge proof, but it does last a very long time. Um, 
I don't think it would last 24 hours, however. I do believe that it will last a very long time, probably not 24 hours. I don't think anything really lasts 24 hours besides a waterproof mascara. Uh, I'm not sure if it's waterproof. I've never really tried it out, but I do believe that it is grease resistant. Um, smudge proof, I guess the color doesn't really die out, but all the shimmer does. Yes, the Amber Rush is like kind of shimmery still, but like all the color faded away. And the bronze taupe, all the shimmer faded away, but the color still stayed, so that's kind of weird. So, there's that. It is really incredibly thin it's cream. Just, like, it's so different. I can't really explain how it's so thin and silky and creamy. It's beyond words. I, don't, I hope I don't you guys like the video, the review I did for you guys today, and I definitely suggest checking some of these out. I definitely want to go pick up some more colors, especially the purple one they had there. It's so pretty, but I kind of wanted to try them out for myself first. I don't want to grab like a bunch and then just hate them. So I didn't really want to waste money on a product that I might not love. So, but I'm definitely going to go pick up some more. So yeah, I definitely suggest you guys check them out, and then now on to the tutorial. Okay, as always, I'm going to start off with my Too Faced Shadow Insurance, and I'm just going to apply that all over the lid. Oh, I'm applying it all. That would have been bad. And then now I'm just taking my um, L'Oreal Infallible Shadow in Amber Rush, and it's just this kind of coppery, brownish-orange color. You guys can see the texture is amazing and just kind of pat it on okay now I'm gonna be taking my metal mania palette which I've been using like obsessively all fall and winter uh, and I'm gonna be taking this kind of brownish orange shadow it's like the top corner and I'm just gonna place that all over the lid And now just taking any um, transition color you want, I just like using a matte brown and just, this is my favorite one, it's Buck from the Naked palette, it's in Buck. And just apply this all over the, on the crease. Just to smooth out the transition and just blend out the color. Okay, now back again with my Metal Mania palette, I'm just going to be taking this brown color right here. I'm just going to be grabbing that with a pencil brush and applying this to the outer corner of my eyes, basically in the outer V. And you can bring this into the crease as well. And then I'm grabbing a little more of the same brown color and then just bring it down to the lower lash line about halfway in. Just kind of fade it out. Okay, and then now using just a blending brush, I'm just using this one by Sigma, the E25. I'm just going to blend out the harsh edges. Okay, and then now just using um, this color in Space Cowboy, I'm just going to apply that to the inner corners of the highlight. And then now I'm just going to line my eyes with my Clinique Gel Liner. Okay, and then now I'm just going to line my waterline with this uh, Urban Decay Glide On Pencil in Demolition. And it's just the travel size set and it's like a dark brown color. Okay, and then now just curl your lashes and apply mascara. I'm just using my L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara. Okay, now I'm just going to apply my blush. I'm going to be using my Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush in Exposed, and this is what it looks like. And I'm just using my Real Techniques brush. This is actually really similar to my black 
my MAC blush baby blush. Okay, and then now I'm gonna apply this Revlon lipstick, and this is in blushed. And then now I'm gonna be using my Urban Decay Lip Junkie lip gloss, and this is in Wallflower. And that's the finished look. I hope you guys like it. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!